So you're an egalitarian. Okay, prove it. Are there any groups, any demographics, that you see wrongdoings being done to that you'll stand up and support? Or do you refuse to do that because, well, you're an egalitarian and if you give any specific demographics, that means that uh, uh, you're no longer an egalitarian? Now, I understand people not wanting to participate in the oppression Olympics. I get it. I get it. But what about when there are people who are blatantly oppressed? Are you going to try to speak up for them? How about the people in the Middle East who are being oppressed by religious uh, totalitarianism? What about the people that are living in those countries? Do you... them? No, not them either? Okay. Women? Well, no, not them. Black people? No, not them. Gay people? No, not them. Transgender people? No, not them. Okay, what group do you stand up for? Is it just the straight white males that you stand up for? Because they're being demonized for not standing up for other groups? I've been thinking about how some of the times where I have gotten really depressed after making a video is when I've joined in on some sort of a hate fest of sorts. And some of the good feelings that I get out of when I do that sort of thing is the camaraderie of hate that is on this platform. Well, you know, uh, those who hate together flock together or something like that. That's not really a phrase, but you know. But people have gotten so anti-SJW that it seems that some people are actually against actual social justice. That's kind of disturbing. That's kind of disturbing. And you can jump up and down and say, I'm an egalitarian, I'm an egalitarian, I'm an egalitarian. Okay, fine, prove it. What group other than straight white males do you support? Can you name any? Now there is a bit of narcissism to the element of someone supporting oppressed groups. Oh, it makes me feel good when I say these things. There's some narcissism there. There's some ego stroking there, obviously. But the way things are anymore, anyone shoving forth just a hippie type of message where they are not being judgmental towards anyone else they're just trying to say, hey, let's, let's spread love. And anyone who says that gets treated like they're the worst SJW out there. Someone who says spread love gets treated as if they're saying spread hate. How does that work? How does that work? There are a number of things that some of the SJWs actually talk about, or are trying to talk about, that they don't say very well. They use a bunch of bullshit buzzwords, and a lot of these buzzwords are specifically designed to piss people off. Sort of like, let's think about Rebecca Watson's review of the Ghostbusters movie that she didn't actually see. Um, she said she's going to see it, but where she says it makes her happy, to know that something in a movie is going to piss off misogynists. That makes her happy. Hmm. That's kind of messed up. And a lot of these words that the SJWs use, the words and phrases and terminology, are designed to cause controversy. Even things like rape culture, that phrase, it is designed to cause controversy. It is designed to get a discussion going. We don't need buzzwords to do that. We can just talk about subjects, but they want to use these buzzwords. How about toxic masculinity? Another one of those things. I mean, that wasn't even originally a feminist concept. It was something that people who support the rights and well-being of men and boys talked about because of 
what happens to some boys when they don't have father figures or they have an abusive father. So they're grasping onto straws as to, you know, what is masculinity. But it gets hijacked and then used as a pejorative. Just like the word privilege gets used as a pejorative. And it becomes difficult for people to decipher what is someone being judgmental and what is someone genuinely trying to spread a positive, loving message. We have to use our brains, you know, our brains, to figure out when someone is pushing forth something hateful. When someone is pushing forth something that, well, this is going to make me smile because it pisses some people off. That's one of the habits that a lot of the SJW feminist side of things do. As I said earlier, well, if they can piss off their enemies, then, you know, that's great. Because that somehow means they're spreading the message. Well, that spreads the message just as well as the anti-SJW crowd spreading hate on their side. It, it doesn't spread the message. It just preaches to the choir. Congratulations, let's preach to the choir. So, again, if you're an egalitarian, well, prove it. How about talking about the things you actually support? It'd be nice.